Hello everyone. I am going to explain the activity A Picture Sees a Thousand Words. We all have heard this line many times. And an image has a real value. Images help us learn. They explain tough concepts. And they grab our attention. The main aim of this activity is to enhance creative thinking, divergent thinking, which is thinking out of the box, vocabulary, communication, and confidence among the participants. So what is this activity all about? Hum participants ko kuch pictures dikhayenge one at a time. Every picture has a meaning. It conveys a message or simply tells a story. The participants have to look at the picture and tell what story the picture is trying to convey, what message it's trying to give, what value has been shown in the picture. Once this is done, the participants will realize that people perceive things very differently. What one person sees, believes, their views, their opinions can be very different from another person. No two individuals are the same. Every person is unique and they will also learn that an image has a real power to bring change in a person. I am going to show an example on how to conduct this activity. Ask the mentees, can you look at this picture? What is this picture trying to convey? What is it trying to say? Keep asking questions. Participants might say that I get picture to see this Help them by uh, trying to change that sentence into English and ask them why you get happy. They might say that the colorful balloons depict humans with different desires and ambitions that are growing as the sky is limitless. Mentors need to participate in this and give their viewpoints. This is very important. Mentors ko aise questions pooch hai mentee se which will get them to think and realize. Uh, this is an individual activity and uh, the participants have to give their viewpoints and there will be a discussion on the same. The total time allotted for this activity is 45 minutes. Seven pictures have to be shown and if you all are falling short of time, you all can show six pictures. Please show the pictures in the order mentioned in the document. This activity would be conducted on Zoom. So the instructions on how to share a picture on Zoom has been mentioned in the document. This activity has to be conducted in English. So if any participant has any problem in uh, framing sentences, then mentors please help them to do so. Please read all the instructions given in the document clearly. Thank you.